My little stick figure booty. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I wanna help you lose fat, not muscle. The best way to do that is to start to track because you can't improve what you don't measure. Ugh. Okay, I didn't come up with that, but my version is you can't make a game out of what you don't measure. So basically track and you'll get health progress and fun at the same time. Now, if you wanna actually me and say you use your scale to track your fitness progress, take those glasses off. No, your scale is probably making you skinny fat and I will explain why a little later, but first, Today, I'm testing out this app called Spren that can supposedly tell you your body fat from just a picture from your phone. I'm so skeptical. You may have seen me wearing this heroic getup in past videos. This pairs with the ZozoFit app, which also uses your phone's camera to scan and tell your body fat, but you have to put on this super suit getup, which not only makes me feel jacked, it also makes me less skeptical of their tech. I mean, look at, look at all the little dots. It's telling the camera something, right? And when I tested this out, it was very close to a DEXA scan, which is the gold standard for body fat measurement. So let's see how Spren compares. Okay, let's try this app. I already have it in my get jacked folder. What brings you to Spren? Uh, all of these. Scan your body to learn body fat, lean mass, metabolic rate. Ooh, I didn't know about that. What is it gonna tell me how many calories I'm burning based on a photo of me? Sorry, this just it blows my mind that they're claiming that's gonna happen. Actionable insights to slow aging. I'm down for that. Oh, cool. Connect to Apple Health. Sure, I trust you. Allow all. Okay, start scan. Evidence-based machine learning algorithms. So AI is gonna tell me if I'm skinny fat. <laughs> I love the future. Accuracy is in line or better than medical grade methods. Okay, yes, let's learn more. How do you do it? <laughs> Basically their answer is, we use the camera on your phone. How does Spren compare to DEXA, which I mentioned earlier is the gold standard. They're not answering the question. They never say how it compares. They just say the DEXA is not good. Okay, I have my own opinions on DEXA, which I will get to because it's interesting, but First, that reminds me of that other thing that I said I would get to. Let's talk about why you should throw out your scale. Yes, I have one, but I always keep in mind that it's kind of a dimwit. Your scale tells you one thing, how much gravity is pulling down on you. But the problem is, to simplify things, we'll say that you're made of two ingredients, fat, ew, and muscle, woo. A pound of muscle is tight and it takes up very little space. And also it revs up your metabolism and hanging onto it increases your health span. So we want more of that awesome stuff. And fat is and it takes up more space and it harms our metabolic health and we want less of that unawesome stuff. Now, for example, you could lose a bunch of muscle oh, no. and gain a little fat, ugh, even more, oh no. And the scale would say, good job, you weigh less. But in that example, your metabolism has slowed, you feel like crap and you look, we'll say less tight. Scale, why did you say good job? And in the opposite example, you could gain a bunch of muscle and lose a bunch of fat and the scale would say, oh, you blew it, you weigh more. And that is the actual case with my before and after photos here. I weigh less there, but I am way stronger and feel way better there. I, in fact, did not blow it. So you are way better off tracking what's known as your body composition numbers. It is looking at the two ingredients of you independently, fat and muscle, not just the gravity number. Just put this gym went back, by the way, this is a bioimpedance scale, and I have made a video about it before, excited that it gives me body fat, but after having used it for years, the body fat measurements it gives me track directly with my weight the entire time. So I can confidently say the bioimpedance scales are useless. I've even used one of those $10,000 bioimpedance scales called InBody, if you've heard of it. And because I accidentally chugged four servings of water beforehand, it said I was 31% body fat with this same physique, by the way, and told me to talk to my doctor about my health risk of obesity. So even the most expensive version of this was rendered worthless by some water in my stomach, so I do think they're all BS. And now let's go scan. Wear tight-fitting bike shorts, a sports bra, no hatter shoes. Wow, that's my daily wardrobe. This is perfect. Apparently I wake up ready to get scanned every day. Pull long hair back into a low ponytail. Okay, great. Find a spot with natural light. Illuminate you from the front to ensure even lighting with minimal shadows. See, that's super helpful to know. ZozoFit says nothing about optimal practices for where to scan. I know I'm kind of a crazy person and it's like, how, how, do, how do I optimize? So I like that they tell you. Put your phone on the ground? Wall or solid object that doesn't wobble. Oh, interesting. Hands up, palms forward and feet shoulder width apart. Relax and breathe naturally. Got it. Volumes all the way up. Start scan. Okay, we're set. Move back so that your whole body fits into the frame. Should I flex? I really want to flex. I don't take photos without flexing. Hey, what am I doing? Hello? Cool, do I just stand here? Do, 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 do. <laughs> What's happening? It's cool that I can make this little guy dance though. Boop. Hello. Okay, but seriously, am I doing it wrong? I get for using a new app. Wake up! 
feet was not detected. Seriously, we're grammatically incorrect here. You can't see my feet? Oh, it's because I have socks on. Did you say be sockless? Should I be naked? I mean, I'll go naked if it helps. Whatever for science. Okay, we're trying again. Oh, that's cool. It tells you the angle that it wants. We're dead center in the green. Okay, take a few steps back. I'm doing what you're saying. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold your arms up at 90 degrees with your palms open and facing forward. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. I'm definitely doing Hold that. Hold your arms up at 90 degrees with your palms open and facing forward. This feels very beta. Come on. Was I supposed to remember to turn to the side? My little stick figure booty. Oh, does the red mean something? Like my legs are incorrect somehow? I need to get my legs to be green. There we go. Nope. Okay. Move Braxton's bed. Wait, wait, wait. Arm. Yes. What is wrong with my arm that it is not green? Head was not detected now. I swear I have a head. Just want to point out that I could have done 10 Zozo Fit scans by now. Green legs. Green arm. Come on. Ah. Great. Now hold that pose for a moment. Yes, ma'am. Now turn 90 degrees <gasps> to the left. And we got it. Oh, I like that sound. That's it? I am so far away in the frame. How is that useful? I am so skeptical. Yes. Head and feet both fully visible. Minimal skin tight clothing. No light source behind me. Clear of people. All right, start analysis. <laughs> it blurs my face. Okay, this little animation makes me feel like it's doing something. For sure, this is just an animation to convince me of that fact. Ah, I should have flexed. I was so stressed out, my gut's hanging out. My results are ready. This is very exciting. See results. We got 22.4% body fat. Hmm. It knew my weight was 127.8 pounds down to the decimal because I told it. I'm in the low healthy range. Lean mass, 99.2 pounds. And it says my resting metabolic rate is 1300 calories. So if I just laid around all day and did it no effort for my body, that's what I would still burn. Okay, here they're actually claiming that their results are comparable to DEXA. I do have a DEXA scan from months ago that we could look at, but even though I was similarly sized, it feels kind of too far away to compare. But we can look at that, but for sure, let's compare to a Zozofit scan right now. It is nice not to have to put the suit on. I guess you still have to put on tight-fitting clothing, but then to have the suit, pay for it. If you're traveling, you'd have to take it with you. Although I would never scan while I'm traveling because I'm always drinking and bloated. Place the phone on the stand with the screen facing away from you. We are going to use the back camera. And as I've mentioned in the past, I, I feel super cool in the suit. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Your scan has been successfully completed. Now this has been super easy, but that's because I've done this a bunch. And I do think that the ease of scanning for Spren will be much better once I'm getting used to it. And now that I realize I gotta make the stick figure all turn green. So I think these two apps are comparable in terms of ease of use, especially because this is in my pocket and that's just the thing I carry around with me. And also it does a whole freaking body scan. That's cool. I've seen other portable body scan devices that are huge and it's a whole freaking device. So I do think it's pretty crazy that we've gotten to the point where tech can be that. Wait, let me get the suit off first. I wear it once a week. I don't want to sweat in it. First, let's start with comparing DEXA to Spren. DEXA, my most recent scan said I was 90 pounds of lean tissue and 24.8% body fat. But I'm looking at this now. I didn't realize how long ago I scanned. It's been almost a full year. So this doesn't feel fair comparing that. Ideally, if I was a good scientist, I would go get a DEXA scan right now so we would know exactly. But I mentioned I would discuss the problems with DEXA. Let's do that now. To get a DEXA scan, it is a big machine, which means it costs a lot. And then you have to go to that machine. You have to schedule an appointment. And then there's a human that runs that machine that you have to socially interact with. And also that machine gives you radiation. I pride myself on 
optimizing and really working on my health span, and then I just voluntarily go and get radiated on all the time. Hence, I've been on a quest to find better ways to track how fit you're getting, and if it can be on your phone, it takes away all of those negatives. So having an app that helps you pay attention to your body composition, regardless if it's Spren or ZozoFit, I think that's huge, especially because, like I said, I'm scanning every week, and you could scan every day if you want, which is way better than every three months. Okay, now how does ZozoFit compare to Spren? The suit says I'm coming in at 27% body fat. So that is decently higher, although I somewhat trust it more, even though it's not as pleasant as 22. Because when I did that DEXA scan a year ago, I did a ZozoFit scan right with it, and they were off by 0.4%. That is insanely close, but I don't have any more subsequent DEXA scans along with ZozoFit scans to say how closely they track. Another difference is that ZozoFit doesn't say my lean mass at all. So it is cool to have another number to potentially track. And now when we're talking about tracking, I'm not seeing a graph here in Spren. It would be nice to see my trend over time the way that you can with my body fat percentage here. Spren also doesn't give you your individual measurements. The confidence ZozoFit has to say, yep, your shoulders are exactly 15.4 inches. That does make me feel like they are more accurate, but that is, just an emotional response and nothing sciencey. I'm also getting fat mass from Spren, which I don't get from ZozoFit. And then an android gynoid ratio, which basically is helping me see how much of that inner innards fat that I have, which helps you have an idea if you have metabolic dysfunction, so that could be useful. And then Spren lets you generate a PDF, which is nice. Cool, yeah, just another actually nicer way to look at it. Oh, this graph is awesome. Yeah, I like seeing where I stand in terms of the optimization and where I should get better. And I love when someone tells me I have high lean mass. It's like the best pickup line. And now looking at this overall, through all of my skepticism, I know what you think I'm gonna say, but I am saying I'm pro spread. Even though it's body fat reading that it gave specifically me feels low, that shouldn't matter to the average person. It shouldn't matter to me either, but I'm over controlling and I wanna know specifically exactly. And if you too want to lean into your over controllingness, I would suggest looking at ZozoFit because it potentially is more accurate, but is a bigger investment. So the exact number is not the point. It's that 22.4 is the baseline. And then I can improve from there because I am now measuring something, I can make it better. And any app that is making people care more about body composition position and less about weight is great. And the fact that you can keep tracking and at home and often and gamify your body composition improvements is awesome. And I am pumped to keep playing the game for myself. So let me know in the future if you want an update video where I show how closely or far apart these apps track next to each other. And if you liked this, you'll like seeing when we used ZozoFit to test how one workout, just one workout changes your body. I'll put that down there for you. I am confident that I'm gonna be able to lift all of the weight in this gym. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I'm gonna show you what only one workout does to your physique using this awesome new tech. This suit is gonna show me how much my muscles grow down to two millimeters from only one session, just 